that face you make when you realize you left something at home and you got to go back. <laughs> so I took care of that. Decided to get myself a little bit of breakfast before I hit the road. And I decided to get some beignets. Um, you know, it's a quick and easy breakfast. But if you ever had beignets before, you know you'd be kind of hungry not that long after. So I stopped at a rest stop to use the bathroom. And there's the Twix that I bought that got stuck. So it's Super Bowl Sunday. So when I got in, I went and picked up some sushi. Watched a big game by myself. Went to sleep. Next day, it's time for me to go and get some breakfast. So my boy Ant who's in Memphis. He's got a couple restaurants. I went to check out the liquor store for breakfast. Um, it was really good. I got myself a little something to drink, um, a little mimosa. You know, I got carded, even though I feel like I look old enough. <laughs> but I got these biscuit beignets that came with this dulce de leche that was really good. Um, I got some breakfast tacos with bacon, and they came with the breakfast potatoes and everything. Um, the meal was really nice. I had to get some Ben & Jerry's afterwards because, you know, I be eating ice cream a lot. <laughs> body by Ben & Jerry's is true. It's, I, my body don't discriminate. I eat ice cream from everybody. Ben & Jerry's, Bluebell, you name it. I love it. But anyhow, um, I went back and, you know, chilled for a little while after I had the ice cream. Uh, then it was time for me to head out to the game. I'm heading down to Bill Street. It was a very wet, nasty day, but we made we made it happen, right? So I went to Silky O'Sullivan's or Silky's, whatever, <laughs> with one of my friends. Got a couple of cocktails, um, you know, a little whiskey and Sprite sort of thing. Um, again, pretty nasty day. Uh, I think it snowed at some point, too. They were giving away these Derrick Rose mini chess sets. I grabbed one at the front door. Ended up giving that to my homeboy later when I saw him, but I sat in the pinnacle level, and the view from where I was at was pretty cool. Um, you know, in the previous shot, they had the they have bathrooms down there that's separate from everybody else. Um, it was nice. So, of course, I had to get a little bit of footage of the intro video and everything. Um, I really do like the FedEx Forum uh, as a whole, as an arena. I think the game experience there is pretty cool. Um, and I think despite everything that's been going on with them this season with all the injuries, and despite there being not that many people there, uh, I think the excitement level was still pretty high amongst the Grizzlies fans. So, that was cool. I didn't get to look at the satellite stores that they have in the arena too much, but they seem pretty easy if you don't want to go into the actual store to get anything. And there was also a Caesar Sportsbook Lounge, which I should have went in there to see what that looked like because it looked cool from the outside. So I do have some game footage that I want to share with you guys. Um, I'll put a couple clips next. This was a really rough game to watch. So I didn't get a lot of video of the Pelicans making shots, but it is what it is. We still got the W. <laughs> All in all, I had a really good time in Memphis. I got to meet a couple of my Grizz Twitter friends in person for the first time, so that's always good. And um, yeah, I think um, I'll be back to the FedEx Forum at some point in the future, I'm sure. I've been going to all these different road games and I've been visiting arenas more than once, but I gotta get to some new places, but I'm sure I'll be back sooner or later. <laughs>